How to write an image to a micro SD card for your Raspberry Pi starts now on Ham Radio 2.0. Hey guys, good afternoon. Welcome to Ham Radio 2.0. My name's Jason. My call sign is KC5HWB. The first off, let me say, if you've come to this video and you're not a ham radio operator, maybe you even don't know what it is, you came here for how to write an image to your SD card, you're in the right place. This pertains to many, many facets outside of amateur radio. I have an amateur radio channel that you are watching right now, um, but I'm also an IT professional, so I'm going to be posting more videos about Raspberry Pis and about um, stuff you can do on the internet with ham radio and with some other stuff too. Maybe maybe some maker stuff coming up uh, in 2019. So stay tuned. Um, here's the episode. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button below so that you can keep up with everything that I do. Now, there are probably many ways and many programs out there with which to write to an SD card. So this is the way I do it. It's not the only way to do it, but this does work. So if you've come here thinking, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, try this, because guess what? It works, okay? So these SanDisk, which I'll link, uh, link this, uh, the SanDisk um, micro SD card. This is the micro SD card here, and this is an adapter that uh, goes into a regular SD card slot. Um, these are, this is a 16 gig version, and these are uh, fast enough speed to, do, to record HD video. I actually bought this for my drone. This will fit perfectly in a, uh, a Phantom, DJ, DJI Phantom 3 or 4 drone. This is what they use. So, but if you've got a Raspberry Pi and you want to download an image to do something, uh, doesn't matter what it is, all of them are written to the SD card in the exact same way. Again, there's probably multiple programs out there that will do it, but this is the way I do it. So you can watch here, see how I do it. You've got an SD card adapter with a small slot in the bottom, and you've got your micro SD card. Now, if you've got another adapter to use, this one came with an adapter, so you don't have to use the one it comes with. You can use any adapter you want to, and you can even use a, uh, uh, some adapters connect directly to a USB device, and you plug it into a regular USB. On my laptop, and most of your newer Dell laptops, you're going to have a slot in the side with which in which to put a, a standard size SB, SD card. Now this is brand new. There's nothing on the card yet. So you look on the screen here. Win32 Disk Imager is what I use. This is a Windows system. Uh, there's probably some Linux systems out there that have something similar. I might do another uh, video later on about how to write an image uh, from a Linux box, maybe Ubuntu, maybe CentOS, something like that. But this, uh, this is done on Windows, so Win32 is what you can do. And prior to uh, doing this video, or yeah, prior to starting this, now this part actually is pertaining to ham radio, but if you just want to do like the standard Raspberry Pi image, you can do Raspbian or Noobs. N -O -O, new out-of-the-box software is what NOOBS, N-O-O-B-S stands for. It's an acronym. So you can download the NOOBS, noobs image. You can da download the official supported Raspberry Pi operating system based on Debian. Debian is what Ubuntu is based on. It's called Raspbian for Raspberry Pi. It's a toned-down version, but it works almost the same. Uh, so you can download one of these, and you can write this image to the disk. Or, if you're into amateur radio, I've downloaded the uh, latest Pi Star image, latest at the time of this recording. I've downloaded the latest um, All Star Link image. It took a minute to find that All Star Link image. HamVOIP.com, their image is right there. All Star Link is another image that's used for All Star in different cases. I'm not getting into that right now about which is which. We'll talk about that in a later episode. But it took a while to find this, but I finally found it. So I found this ASL 1.01, and this latest one is from, um, looks like, April of 2018. Now, again, that's the latest one at the time of this recording. And then uh, I also got, what else did I get? It seems Oh, I also downloaded Russell's image, KB5RAB. If you've ever done anything with um, DMR 
um, or digital voice over IP or um, hotspots at all, you might have, if you've ever done it, if you've ever done a Raspberry Pi hotspot, then you might have heard of or played with Russell's image, uh, KB5 RAB, Romeo Alpha Bravo. He does this image right here, and this one was dated from August of 18. It's his latest one. So it doesn't matter what the image is you're writing. So whatever image you need for the application that you want to do for, with your Raspberry Pi, and if you're like most people with Raspberry Pis, you probably have more than one. I've got seven or eight of them, but I'm only using one. I've got like six of them in a box, brand new, ready to go do something else. Probably going to be building MMDVM or Pi-Star boxes with them upcoming. But it doesn't matter what you're going to do with the Raspberry Pi. You write your image. You can write your image the same way and then take your micro SD card, put it in your Raspberry Pi, boot the Pi, and log into it and do whatever in the world you want to do with your Raspberry Pi. So, again, don't think this only pertains to ham radio. That's what this show is about. That's what I'm doing. But you can use this with the Noobs OS or the Raspbian OS or any other OS you want to use that's custom built and um, doing whatever you want to do. So let's go ahead and write. I'm going to write this Pi Star image. Uh, so you open Win32 Disk Manager. All you do is Google it. Google Win32 Disk Manager. You download it from SourceForge.net. That's where I got it from. There's probably a couple other places to get it also. And then you want to find out. You want to find out which drive your um, disk is mounted as, okay? So if you go in here to my computer, what used to be called my computer, just compu this PC is Windows, the Windows 10 version. So you see the SD symbol right here, secure digital storage device. It's the F drive, and it's empty. If there was stuff on the disk, it'd have uh, some of the this bar here would be blue like my hard drive is. That's my CD drive or DVD uh, rewritable drive, so it's not those. So it's going to be the F drive. That's the drive that my computer has recognized as the... And I can, and you can prove that by just unplug the... Unplug it from your drive. Goodness. Just like that. You see it went away on the screen. And then plug it back in. And these are hot swappable USB drives. That's all they are. Comes up as the F drive. So you're going to want to come in here to Win32. Make sure your device is chosen as F. In this case, it's the only one I've. It's the only one available. Now, when I write them on my desktop, there's like three or four drives to come down because I've got external USB drives and NAS drives connected to my desktop. But for right now, just make sure that you're going to make sure you've got the correct device chosen the correct, correct drive letter chosen because it's going to obliterate anything that might be on the card prior to you writing to it. So you don't want to write to the wrong card. Okay, just make sure you're not doing that. And you go in here and find the image file. And in this case, uh, it's going to be in my downloads folder. So this is a zip file. Zip archive. That's the one I'm going to write. So I'm just going to bring it. Uh, it's got an MD5 sum file, and it's got an image file. The image file, disk image file, that's what you're looking for. It's, dot, it's either going to be a .img or sometimes a .iso file, depending on what software you're, you're writing from. We're going to do the image file. So I'm extracting it to my desktop right now. It's going to come down, and it's going to be about 600 megs. Uh, well, it's 600 megs when it's packed. It's about 1.9 gigs. When it's unpacked. Now again, this is a 16 byte, 16 gigabyte card. Plenty of room, no problem. The whole process to write this thing took about nine minutes. See in the bottom left corner of the screen here, 8:52. That's pr the projected time that it's going to take to write, and this is the time that it's actually at right now. So it's at like eight and a half minutes right now. So it really de it depends on the size of the file you're writing. Obviously. Write successful, complete. And that is what it looks like when finished. So now we have an SD card, a micro SD card actually. This is actually still the uh this is still the adapter that holds the SD card, which you can use to right to it and the SD card comes out right here and the micro SD card goes right into the Raspberry Pi and you plug the power into the Pi and it boots right up so 
what other ways some of you out there may have done this already what other ways have you what have you used a different program other than win32 imager have you used a different method um what have you done differently that maybe i could try that and see but i mean this this way works perfectly fine i've had zero issue i've written several um pi star images to uh micro sd cards i've written a couple of all star images to micro sd cards and uh, I've, I've used Russell's image, KB5RAB. I've used him, his image for a couple of things. Um, I haven't done anything with, with that image in, a, in about a year or so, but there's been several images I've written in this manner, and it works fine. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you've used. And uh, if you're a new, subscri or a, a new viewer to this show, please click on the subscribe button below and uh, keep up with all that we're doing. See you next time.